So around a year ago, Jada Toys announced their Street Fighter line of action figures. With time we learned that the line would be specifically based on the game Ultra Street Fighter 2, which is essentially the latest version of the classic Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo video game. Everything they would announce in interviews and such was sounded so good. Scale articulation, character selection, design choices, price point. This was going to be the line to collect in 2023. In this video we are going to be looking at Fei Long in particular and the reason for that is because the copy of Ryu that I got has less than stellar paint applications on his face. So. I decided I'm not gonna open this one. I'm kind of screwed because uh, Big Bad Toy Store doesn't consider issues with paint applications as a defect on the figures, so a replacement is not possible. So I have to see where I can get a new copy of Ryu. The paint applications are uneven, like the, the eyes and eyebrows are off center, and the lip paint covers more than the area of the mouth as sculpted. Alright, so let's talk about uh, Fei Long. So first of all, Fei Long is one of those uh, quote-unquote new challengers. The four new characters that appeared in Super Street Fighter 2. As far as I know, only Sota Toys made a figure of Fei Long in their line. It's not common to see merchandise of this guy, so him being part of wave one of this Jada Toys line is a statement that seems to say that Jada wants to really go deep on this roster and they want to make every character from Ultra Street Fighter 2. So let's take a look at the packaging of these guys. The box resembles an arcade machine, it even has the controls on the on the front. The illustrations are taken from the Ultra Street Fighter 2 game, not only the profile photo of the character, but also promotional illustration from the game. The things I like about this package is that not only you can see the figure clearly inside the, the box, but also uh, it's very compact, it doesn't take much space. It's also very collector friendly. So you can open it, take the figure out and put it back in there and it looks uh, like new which is uh, this case in particular because I already took Fei Long out before and I just put it back in the box for the purposes of this video. Here in the back you can see the rest of the figures that were originally going to be a part of Wave 1. Chun-Li was uh, delayed. I like this uh, the side of the, of the box that tells us uh, more information about the character. Country of origin uh, and uh, fighting style. In the case of Fei Long, the country being Hong Kong and the fighting style Kung Fu. Here we can see what's planned in terms of characters for this line. So basically all of the characters from Super Street Fighter 2 plus Evil Ryu and Violent Ken. This is a look at the inside of the box. And as you can see it comes with a backdrop or essentially what is part of the packaging can be reused for diorama purposes. Not unlike what we saw on the Playmates boxes. And just like that one you can see the texture of the cardboard through the printed picture. It's a nice extra in any case. Fei Long comes with everything you see here. So the complete figure, two sets of hands, which are like uh, expressive multi-purpose kung fu posing hands. This special effect piece to replicate his special move, the Rising Dragon Kick, as well as an alternate head. 
that to me looks like a more relaxed, less angry head, more casual. So first impression with handling the figure out of the box is that the articulation is not quite moving the way I think it's intended to. In particular, the neck is pretty stuck and also the, the ab joints and the wrists as well. It's, it's like they're frozen. I am going to go ahead and use the hair dryer method on this guy and try to loosen the joints a little bit. All right, so after heating them up, I, it's much better. Uh, some of the joints are completely free. The ab joint is a little, 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 little bit tricky, uh, but for the most part, everything works pretty great. All right, so the sculpt, this is a very nice looking action figure, okay? It kind of looks like an import from Japan, but it doesn't feel like a Japanese collector oriented figure in that it doesn't feel fragile. The, the, the joints are not too loose. This is a great hand candy. Now, in terms of looks, um, there's a, a lot of detail in, in this figure, like in the sculpt, like the pants have a, a texture that uh, kind of reminds me of 3D print, right? Of course, this is not a 3D printed product, but uh, so that's a, a, a nice, if unnecessary, detail. Now, in terms of paint applications, there is a subtle wash, it's seen, on the, on the torso, arms, and the skin sections. Thankfully, it is very subtle. Uh, the face seems to use this realistic um, face printing technique mostly uh, for shading and for the lips maybe I am I am wrong the eyes and the eyebrows don't seem to be using this technique they seem to be using more traditional uh, uh, paint applications so they are very very clean and I appreciate that in particular because these these characters are we mostly see them in in manga slash anime type of illustrations and uh, it's a good idea not to go too realistic on that uh, there's a little thing I mentioned before issues with the uh, real paint. There's something on my copy of Fei Long as well here in the shoulder This uh, black dot that is not supposed to be there. Not a big issue But it seems that it's not a one-off situation with my copy Again pay attention when you're gonna buy one yours because uh, there's cases of figures of Fei Long with this case affecting a greater area of the body of the figure now, in terms of scale, this line is uh, in a, on a smaller scale to the previous Playmates uh, action figures as well as stuff like Marvel Legends and such. The difference is not huge, uh, but it's certainly there. This scale is pretty much the same as the SH Figure Art one. Now, I like using bases for my action figure, the display bases. Luckily, unlike the Playmate stuff, these figures have peg holes on the bottom of their feet. So which display base would work with them? So I'm trying here the NECA display stand. And it seems like the peg is a bit too big. So uh, if I were to force it, uh, it may work, but I would be altering the size of the, of the peg hole on the figure. I'm trying here a Protec vintage style uh, base and, and this one fares a little bit better. It's still not a perfect fit, but I think I'll be using this one for now. Now, in terms of articulation, I mentioned before that this is great. The figure can do pretty much everything you would want him to do, both amount of joints and range of motion materials use is so good this is a great hand candy now can he replicate the classic poses from the game absolutely take a look So let's talk accuracy to the source material. 
since the moment it was announced. Some collectors, myself included, have been a bit worried and even disappointed by the fact that the figure looks a bit different from the way we remember Fei Long to look like in the classic video games. When looking at pretty much all the Street Fighter art from before the HD Remix game came out. By and large, Fei Long has been portrayed with a physique not too dissimilar to Bruce Lee. That is, muscular and uh, very athletic, but with a leaner frame compared to other characters like Ryu. Arms are thinner than Ryu's, and the size ratio from the upper chest compared to the waist is quite pronounced, right? Also, the hair, for the most part, is shown as bright or light brown, as opposed to the darker brown, almost black, from the action figure. So when we compare this figure to that classic art, the differences just jump out at you, right? The thing is that, for better or worse, the figure and this line they are based on the game Ultra Street Fighter 2, which in-game utilizes the sprite art from the HD Remix remake that came out over a decade ago. And in that game, Fei Long in particular looks quite thicker than he used to look before, and his hair color is also darker. So in that sense, uh, for those particular two complaints, the darker hair and uh, muscular physique, the toy is accurate. In other aspects like uh, the pants color in the game, they, they look lighter than they do in the toy. Now, personally, I am not a big fan of the art in HD Remix. How about the face? I know from listening to interviews, podcasts with um, Jada Toys uh, June that uh, the intention is to have at least one of the, of the two available portraits on the, the, the heads on the action figure to resemble the art on, of the character selection screen from Ultra, which is essentially the same one from the Super Street Fighter 2. In that sense, the lack of accuracy is noticeable because as, as you can see, the face of the toy doesn't quite resemble the art. Uh, the eyebrows look different. In general, I think the, the face structure looks diff looks like a different person, right? The style looks like a different person. Hair color is different. For me in particular, this is disappointing. I would have liked to see a Street Fighter line that is not only complete, but also really looks like the characters as we know them from Super Street Fighter 2. And sadly, this is not going to be that line, at least not now as it focuses on Ultra. It is what it is. Now, if you're curious to see how a recolored version of this figure could look like, I would uh, suggest that you check out Power Turtle Buster's uh, YouTube channel. He has made that particular custom, as well as some changes to Rio. So, all in all, this is an absolutely great figure, it's a lot of fun to have uh, on your desk and uh, uh, change the pose in here and there. I like the price point, I think it's a fair price and I like the amount of uh, accessories it comes with and I'm looking forward to other figures in the line, uh, Ken in particular, uh, I think it looks, it looks very good. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and have a very good day.